A day after West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee called Governor Jagdeep Dhankar a corrupt man, highlighting his involvement in the infamous Jain Hawala scam, noted journalist and anti-corruption activist Vinit Narayan said that the Bengal governor should resign on moral grounds. Reportedly, Dhankar was one of the persons charged cheated in the 1996 Hawala case in which several bureaucrats were accused of corruption. I want to thank the Chief Minister of West Bengal, Ms. Mamata Banerjee, for having boldly taken up the issue of Jainabha case because it concerns terror funding, corruption and clandestine Hawala transactions, which is a case of treachery with the nation. India has the highest fuel rates among its neighbouring nations and the prices are likely to climb further as global oil rates consolidate. Experts have warned that rising fuel rates could severely endanger the already Covid-affected India's economy. Petrol price has crossed 100 rupees per litre in multiple states while diesel is gradually inching closer to the three-figure mark. In fact, buying petrol in major Indian cities such as Mumbai costs almost twice as much as in New York. While the emergence of the Delta variant inflicted major worries, in a sigh of relief, Russia's Sputnik V vaccine is reported to be around 90% effective against the variant. Deputy Director of the Gamaleya Institute, Denis Loganov, who developed the vaccine, confirmed this today. The shot was previously found by the researchers to be almost 92% effective against the original strain of the coronavirus. Uddhav Thakre met with PM Modi on June 8 over a range of issues linked to Maharashtra. However, their one-on-one -on -one meeting drew a lot of attention as it suggested a coldness between the former allies. Shiv Sena leader Sanjay Raut downplayed the Modi Thakare conversation and said the chief minister's priority was to push for central intervention in the Maratha quota after the Supreme Court cancelled it. Raut said that Uddhav Thakare still shares a very strong bond with the PM that is separate from politics.